Hey my lovelies, it has been an incredibly busy day here in the shop with the giveaway vehicle, but I didn't start my day off in the shop. I started my day off by taking little Fergus on a little adventure. All right, Fergus, we're in the car. Where are we going? Are we going to the beach? Are we gonna go to the water? He doesn't care, he just wants that window open. So a lot of you have wanted more of Fergus on the channel. He's not really a wheeling dog mainly because of me. I don't want him in the vehicle. I don't want him being thrown around. And quite honestly, I don't trust him on the trails because he would just want to explore everything. So this may seem very stupid to a lot of you, but I'm going to be taking Fergus out to the lake at Sand Hollow for the very first time. He's never seen any kind of body of water other than the bathtub. So, oh, and maybe a little sprinkle of rain now and then. So let's see what he thinks and how he feels about it. All right, I'm just gonna throw this thing into four high. Perfect. Fergus is looking at me like, what on earth is four high and why? Well, because, buddy, we don't want to get stuck. Park right here. Hey, we found a spot. Are you ready? You ready? Are you ready? That is the question, sir. What are you showing my little teeth for? Fergus, you okay? Are you good? You don't know about this? It's a little weird. <laughs> don't know if he's really into this. And I love the fact that he just walked out of here like he was wearing a diaper. It's probably been my favorite part so far. Of course not, but that's okay. I'm gonna make sure next time that he's with other dogs so that other dogs can show him the ways of the water. Anyway, we're back in the shop. I have a lot of work to get done today on this vehicle. I'm gonna be leaving at the end of May and this vehicle has to be done by then. I'm heading over to Pennsylvania to the Bantam Heritage Jeep Festival where this will be debuted. Now the problem is I move like a sloth. I gotta pick up the sloth pace just a little bit. So today we're gonna finish ripping everything out from underneath there and hopefully cut some of those brackets off, grind everything down, getting ready, not only for the Rebel Off-Road kit, but also for the RPM long arm kit that's gonna be going on there. I'm super excited about that. So, yee, work, work.
wobbly extension. Wibbly wobbly, bam. And the bit, bam. On the gun, bam, bam. This is a dodgy situation. We're gonna make it work. I like you. Now I just need to find the last one of you and see if you want to cooperate. Okay, this is what happens, okay? This is what you're gonna see more of, is when I'm by myself, I literally talk to myself all the time. Could get a little annoying, so I'm gonna need your guidance whether you wanna hear my little shenanigans going on back and forth to myself or whether to cut it. I won't be offended. Don't like that angle, huh? Okay, hopefully. Of course it works. Of course it works. Why oh, my hands are being so weird about this tool? Yo. Okay. All right, now we're just gonna be here for a wee while, working these out. Working them. I do love about this camera is that it follows me wherever I go so it makes working in the garage a little easier alone and I always make that face I'm just worried in case something's gonna happen let me get another stand under here I'm not feeling too groovy about just having one
we're in a good spot except for that drag link but i'm not gonna mess with that just that i've bungeed it out of the way it's not even in the way of anything that i need to do next what i need to do is get rid whoop, of these brackets now what i'm gonna do is double check online what i have to keep and what i can get rid of for dawn from rpm's kit so yeah let me get back to you in three two one Okay, really not that difficult. RPM site, I'm gonna leave that link in the description below, is so easy to follow. So uh, on this side, definitely, which is the passenger side, definitely take this bracket off. And up here on the driver's side, we're just gonna take some of these off as well. Again, I'm gonna leave the link in the description below so you can actually go check it out, see the instructions. If you're interested in any of the suspensions from them, I'm definitely a thumbs up. Uh, of course, I have that in Nessie and she's a beast. And uh, I switched over to the control arms um, on Mischief Maker, so thumbs up. But enough talking, procrastinating again. Time to get dirty. It is time to wrap up the day for today. I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow morning early and get at those brackets and grind them down. But all in all, the project is going fairly smoothly. I think I'm pretty happy with all the work that's going on, all the progress. I do need to quicken the pace up because it does have to be done within four weeks. And if, remember, you could win this for as little as $5. That's right, I'm gonna leave the link in the description below to where you can get your entry, whether it's a donation, whether you become a member, or whether you buy that really cool swag, the t-shirt, the sweatshirt with the Jeep on it. Absolutely love it. But I'm thirsty for a cup of tea. I need to go give my boys some love, so thanks for watching.